Okay. Uh, very good morning to all of you and to all those who are watching this program and a special warm welcome to all my dear students and their parents and guardians who are on this program. I congratulate all of you for having secured admission in Bhavan's college. And I, Sujata Shetty, will be your guide and host for the day. As per our tradition, we begin our today's proceedings with the lighting of the lamp and the Saraswati Vandana. I now request our principal, Dr. Zareen Batena, to speak a few words to our first year students. Yes, Good morning to my dear students. 
and all the faculty members, as well as parents who are watching this program, who have joined us on this link, as well as on that of the YouTube. I extend a very, very warm welcome to this very unique college, which is situated in the hearts of Andheri campus, which is a 46 acre AMP campus, and which has lush greenery. All this you would have seen on the first day that you would come into that of the college, but the pandemic is still on. It is not over until the government gives us the permission to ask you all to come down to that of the campus and start continuously all the lectures. You may not be in a position to see the way that this campus is. But rest assured, you will definitely see it over the next two to three months, wherein you'll realize that how fortunate you are to come into the green lung in a midst of Mumbai city. Along with my colleagues, the vice principals, the coordinators over here of, of junior college, and all the other faculty members, I, the principal, take it as a privilege to welcome you to Bhavans and make you into a proud and a well-equipped Bhavanite. Bhavans College is known for its moral values. Bhavans College was set up in 1946 at a time when we had not even got our independence based on the fact that we want Gandhian values. We want Gandhian philosophy and we want her students to have a well-developed character. So we do not just teach science and technology and other subjects but we and commerce, but we also teach the way that a character has to be built, the way that where principles have to be developed. And this is what is the unique ethos of Bhavans College. Since you have joined the junior college, I'm sure all of you all after the next two years will also become the in-house students for our degree college. Because the degree college gives you a well-rounded experience and gives you a number of opportunities, both for your, your academic growth, for research growth, as well as internships and placements. To enable us to do so, it was in 2020, during the year of pandemic, that our teachers and a number of our staff worked to make this college autonomous. This is a privilege that we are very proud of because very few colleges in Mumbai city have that privilege of being announced that they are autonomous. And when we mean autonomy, it means that we have the ability to make our courses, the ability over here to make our evaluation pattern, the ability over here to give you all internships and the ability to make sure that you get all the things that were here normal traditional courses may not be giving you. So therefore, I expect that after your 11th and 12th, many of you all will join us into courses for philosophy, for psychology in that of the arts faculty, then the retail management in the case over here of um, commerce, wherein this course is so unique that we have got placements which will come at the time of your admission. This is the first year that we have started under autonomy, this course. And remember, all our 30 students which we have taken, it's a very limited course, all our 30 students have got placements under reliance uh, trends. So you can imagine, plus they get internship. So when they work over there, they are paid around 6,000 rupees per month. So this is the type of courses that we are developing and you will be groomed in your junior college to make sure that you become eligible for such types of courses in that of your degree colleges. There are a few things that I would also want over here to add on to it besides the academics. Besides academics, we make sure that culturally and extracurricularly also you excel. 
So we have sports, we have gymnasiums, we have a you know, full-fledged ground, and we have lakes and we have temples in our uh, campus for you to enjoy, okay? At the same time, and we also believe that there has to be some responsibility, responsibility to the society. And that is the reason why we make sure that you enroll in NCC and NSS and DLLE, wherein you give back to that our society. And you will be pleasantly surprised to see that most of our students here as such became what we call as Corona warriors during this pandemic, working here in hospitals as were your paramedics and in number of other labs were here to make sure that our society does not get affected. So these are some of the activities that where we do over that of a period of time. The responsibility also lies with that of the students to make sure that they become well disciplined. And therefore, discipline is a very important aspect of our, of our life in Bhavans College. Discipline is in two forms. Discipline and the campus to make sure that there is no ragging of the your co-companions of your friends over here, even in jest, it is not allowed. And such types of conditions make sure that you will be dismissed out completely from that of the college. Discipline in learning such that there is no unfair means practice is also a must. Otherwise, over here, we come down under that committee and that also cancels out your admission. We also believe that you have to have certain type of responsibilities while you are in the campus to see that littering is not done, the campus is kept clean and you behave with your friends and your office bearers in a proper manner. There has to be no hooliganism, there has to be no types of fighting between and you are coming here as a student, so therefore you remain as a student. Discipline while using your mobiles is a very important aspect, which I want to tell you. In the class, the mobiles should not be on. So please make it a point to say that though we're in this online pandemic, we have to use our mobiles, at least in the offline modes, mobiles at that time are not required. And another important thing where is attendance in the class. Attendance in the class is mandatory. If you do not have 75% attendance in your classes, then you are not eligible to go for that of your examinations. So please parents, students, and all the members who are sitting over here, please note that attendance defaulters will be very strictly handled. Besides these, you are here to also enjoy, to learn, to grow, to adapt, and we have become a proper citizen that we have will make the Indian community proud. Thank you very much and best of luck. Thank you very much, ma'am. And I'm sure ma'am has given you an idea regarding the discipline, how you have to be on the campus. I think she's given you a brief idea about it. We will go about it as and when we discuss the different departments. Now, having said... Having secured admission into Bhavan's College, you are now a part of this institution. It was okay. Yeah, I would request all of you to put those who have joined on Google, please keep it on mute.
Yeah, having secured admission to Bhavans, as I was saying, you have now become a part of this institution. You are the youngest member of our family, and therefore it becomes my duty to acquaint you with the rich heritage that you are a part of, as well as the rules and regulations of this institution. Our institution was established, as ma'am said, in the year 1946, a year prior to independent India. We have today, it has started with only one institution, but today we have more than 320 institutions all over the world. And we owe our very existence to our founder member, that is Dr. K. M. Munshiji. Dr. K, I would like to speak a little about Dr. K. M. Munshiji, which is just a brief introduction, because if I speak about Munshiji, it will, I can speak volumes on him. But just to give you a brief idea of who Munshiji was, Munshiji was born in the year that is uh, December 30th, 1887. He was born in a very humble household. He completed his schooling, later went to college like everyone else. But during his college days, he came in uh, contact with Sri Aurobindo, who influenced him immensely. And he became an ardent freedom fighter. It was in those days that Munshiji came in contact with Jawahar Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, Mahatma Gandhiji, as well as Sardar Vallabhai Patel. And his fight or his decision to become a freedom fighter only strengthened with it. But at the same time, he did complete his education. He became a lawyer by profession. And after that, he was also one of the members the, of the expert committee who drafted the constitution of India. In the year 1937, he was appointed as the home minister of Maharashtra, of Bombay. Then as India's food and agriculture minister, later he served as the governor of Uttar Pradesh. He's a well-known figure in the Gujarati literary circle. Munshiji was also an environmentalist. And it is his efforts that he has taken up, you know, constituted what today we call as the Vana Mahotsav. And the results of this Vana Mahotsav is easily or very, very evident on our campus, in the lush green campus that we have today. It is the efforts all we credited to Munshiji. But Munshiji passed away in the year 1971, on February 8, 1971. Although he is no longer physically present with us, he still lives in the many books that he has published. He lives in the shrine called as the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan. He had Dr. K. M. Munshiji's philosophy was creative education is the art of self sculpture. When he says creative education is the art of self-sculpture, it is just a single statement, but has got an in-depth meaning to it. According to him, he says, when a guru imparts education to his shishya or student, he should adopt such creative techniques, such innovative techniques, that it should be able to unlock the creativity in the student and the student should be able to self-sculpture himself. So that is, that's the meaning of creative education is the art of self-sculpture. We also have or strictly follow his motto that is Amrutam to Vidya, meaning knowledge is nectar. It's a simple statement again, Amrutam to Vidya. Everyone knows or all of us know that when you have Amrut, you attain immortality. 
according to munshi ji he says when we impart knowledge to our students we enlighten their minds when these students in turn pass on the knowledge to others they enlighten their minds and in this way knowledge moves or flows from one generation to the next making it immortal and that is our motto amritam tu vidya imparting knowledge for generations to come yeah now let me tell you a little about the history of bhavans how we came up with this institution right see when munshi ji was working or he was in the freedom fight struggle and during those years he realized that our youngsters of india were highly influenced by the western world they were getting swept away by the western wave and it was at that time munshi ji felt that something had to be done to preserve the bharatiya culture and he thought what best but to impart it through an educational institution and there got sown the seeds of beginning an institution and then he looked out for a place he he said the best place that he could think of was a place here in anderi which all of you maybe you know like 75 years ago i must tell you that this is the 75th year of our institution and 75 years ago anderi was just a marshy piece of land he bought this marshy piece of land he bought this marshy piece of land from the government and those days this marshy piece of land today which you see as a lush green campus was in the hands of the military and it was used as a military firing ground and the barracks that you see over here were the place where the military people used to stay when munshi ji bought this plot ma'am has told you it was more than 46 acres but eventually a lot of property got encroached and what we have today with us is 46 acres it was almost 60 acres before when munshi ji bought this plot along with the barracks these barracks were used as classrooms and laboratories by our students i too am a bhavans bhavanite and i remember attending my lectures in these barracks it was long long ago but we still have it these barracks are present even today as you enter our main gate and move towards the left you will find these barracks but of course we do not have our classes there anymore now let's see later on now yes of course our college was the foundation stone of a college was laid down by sarvapalli radhakrishnan and it was inaugurated at the hands of the iron man of india that is sardar vallabhbhai patel when it was initially built it had a look like this it was a more barren look a building was built we had just a ground floor and a first floor you can see those two balconies projecting out to the right and if you have come to our campus and if you would have seen today on the ground floor where the projection is there we have our photocopy center so that was a change which has taken place the first floor is present but we didn't have a second floor before second floor was constructed later on and we have this building having ground and plus 2 today but otherwise we have managed to keep the main building as it is in the year 2002 we gave it a facelift you see over here the ground floor the first and the second in the year 2006 we further beautified it we made it more beautiful and here it is 2015 a further better facelift and you see it merging with our green campus i'm sure today when you have come i mean today you would have been with us physically here in the auditorium with us and it would have been a very different experience to you but the pandemic has restrained us from calling you to this campus today let's see the layout of our campus all of you as you have come in to the main building you have seen the main building the library building the chemistry building you have seen it but let me give you a brief idea of it how it is a bird's eye view of our campus over here we have the green color building which is the main building adjacent to the main building is a blue color building that is a chemistry building 
just behind the main building you have the library building which is seen as brick red but of late we have changed the color of this building it is cream with the orange trimming and behind the library building we have the sfc building or the self financing building which is yellow in color that was about the entire layout that we have shown i'll go to each building now on the rear side of the main building we have the counters the different counters to which you have already been <coughs> so counter number 2 deals with all enquiries counter number 3 the lc that's a leaving certificate i card duplicates exam forms eligibility forms counter number 4 deals with the bona fide the rail and the bus concessions and the mark sheets counter number 5 deals with scholarship free ship cast validity counter number 6 is for payment of fees and counter number 7 is specially uh, for the sfc section the payment of fees and everything takes place of sfc in counter number 7 all this comes under the purview of our in charge college registrar that is mrs vijaya talpade we have our main uh, blue color building which i have just mentioned to you that's the chemistry building the chemistry building has on the ground floor the laboratories the first and the second floor are for the lectures now whenever we these lecture rooms whenever you come for your lectures physically we will be putting up as c101 c102 c103 or c201 which means see how we have numbered this c stands for the chemistry building if i say it is 102 it means on the first floor the second room if i say 201 it means c201 stands for chemistry building second floor and the first room right so that makes it very easy for you to follow here we have the library building that's a brick red but as i told you we now have it orange uh, creamish in color with the orange trimming the entire ground floor that you have here is the library first floor is the reading room which has also got a digital library now keeping up with the time and the second floor are your theory classes so if you have your lectures here then we label it as l201 l203 because l stands for library second floor right if you have your lectures now this is your sfc building or the self financing building which is yellowish in color here too we have certain rooms but we have very few rooms in this building allotted to us so they will be labeled as r1 r2 and r3 hmm? then that was regarding the buildings now bhavans is a recipient of a few very very prestigious awards we have our communal harmony award we were given the communal harmony award for our outstanding contribution to the cause of communal harmony and national integration this was this award was presented to us by the then president of india k r narayanan and it was received by c subramanyam he was bharat ratna subramanyam uh, he was he received it on uh, behalf of the bhavan we also have the gandhi we were awarded the gandhi peace prize in the year 2002 for our outstanding and significant contribution towards spreading peace and harmony among the re different religions and community india is a nation of different religions and we were able to spread peace and harmony among the different religions as well as the community this international gandhi peace prize is usually won by individuals mother teresa has been the recipient of this award but bhavan as an institute was awarded this prize which is a matter of great pride to us we celebrated our diamond jubilee in the year 2006 a platinum jubilee of bharatiya vidya bhavan in the year 1930 that is from in the year 2013 from 1938 to 2013 right so in 2013 we celebrated our platinum jubilee and also the 125th birth anniversary of k munshi ji we are in fact blessed by a number of spiritual leaders like 
ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರಂಗನಾಥನಂದ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೋಲಿನ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಯೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಗೀಶಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿಜೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೋಲಿನ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸತ್ಯ ಸಾಯಿಬಾಬಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಚಿನ್ಮಯಾನಂದ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ಲೇಡ್ ಹೋಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಅ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಗ್ನಿಟರೀಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಎವರ್ ಚಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಜವಾಹರ್ ಲಾಲ್ ನೆಹರು was the then prime minister of india shri y b chavan the chief minister of maharashtra shrimati vijay lakshmi pandit an indian diplomat and politician who was the first female to be elected as the governor of maharashtra shri j prakash narayan an indian independence activist and political leader honorable james caligan and honorable margaret thatcher who were the prime minister of united kingdom shri vijay merchant a cricketer so we were we have played host to all these dignitaries in the past years and we are proud of it bavans college is situated at andheri as all of you know in the heart of mumbai we have a scenic campus very few colleges i would say would have such a scenic campus a well maintained campus a picturesque lake i'm sure we are the only institute possibly to be having a lake on the campus we have a very good walkway beside set so there are many of us who go in for a walk beside the lake a privilege which few people in bombay would have a lord shiva temple this temple was built in the year 1960 and it was here that its munshi ji wanted it to be in the center of the campus and he had built this in the year 1960 and placed his family deity that is lord chandrashekar lord chandrashekar is the incarnation of lord shiva and we call it or we refer it to more as the shiva temple vinay मला पिक्चर सलग ऐकून बर 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 Yeah, we have a slight technical glitch. We have the Shiva temple over here. We also have a huge playground with a professionally uh, developed cricket pitch, an exotic nursery where you have a number of plants and these plants are labeled over here so that you learn their names. we also have an adventure center where a number of schools come in for their picnics a uh, yoga bharti where yoga is taught hmm? yes now coming to the administrative side of it at the helm of affairs we have professor dr zareen batena who has just addressed you she is our principal she is the head of both the degree as well as the junior college at the junior college level you have the vice principal mrs sujatha shetty and that is me who is speaking to you we have a joint vice principal mr r d deshpande and we have our supervisor mrs deepa nadkarni who is there here with us hello yeah she will be you will be meeting her very often she will be very much in touch with you when you come to college we also have our administrative in charges mr jagdish prajapati who is there with us here is come here i hope you all can see him and we have one more administrative in charge that is himangi madam she is from the maths department 
So you have your vice principal from the biology department, your supervisor from the chemistry department, your joint vice principal and your administrative in charge from the physics department and Hemangi madam from the maths department. So any problem in any of the departments, of course, this is the arts faculty, which I'm addressing, but you can come to us and you can get your problems addressed. The coordinators of the various departments, I'll be calling out the coordinators. And as I call out the coordinators, you will see your coordinators. In case you don't see some of them, that means they are busy with their lectures because our SYJC lectures are going on. The Marathi department, we have Mrs. Jyoti Malankar. She will be there with you for other committees too. She is one of our senior most teachers. And here we have, I hope you can see her. Jyoti ma'am, just say a hi, huh? Yes, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you will you'll meet her more often when you'll come to college. Yeah. Next, we have our English department. From the English department, we have An Mrs. Sanuprita Trimbakkar. Hello. Yeah. I think you'll have Good seen soon everybody. Yeah. From the Hindi department, from the Hindi department, you have Mrs. Dipti Savan. Mrs. Dipti Savan from the Hindi department. Oh, yeah. yeah. History department, we have Mr. V. S. Kota. He has gone for one of his training sessions. And I think he's also team as in charge of NCC. So he's gone for a training session today. So maybe that's a reason why he's unable to join me here. In the geography department, we have Mrs. Sureka Chopde. Yeah, just excuse me. Yeah, this is the in charge coordinator, Mr. Suresh Gavit, who has just come in. Okay. Yeah. The others, others, others will please mute your phones. Others, please, please, others will please mute your phones. It's, uh, yeah. We have uh, geography, Sureka Chopde. Uh, she's, I think, in a lecture. We have in the psychology department, we have Mrs. Rachna Jadav. Economics, economics department, Mr. C.R. Birade. Logic department, from the department of logic, the head of logic department, we have Ambika Bise. The political science, we have Mr. Avinash Yamgar. In the health and physical education, we have Dr. Mrs. Vidya Kulkarni. Hi. Yeah, there we have Vidya Madam, who is in charge of your sports department. That is the health and physical education department. For Sanskrit, we have Mrs. Shri Parte. Of course, Sanskrit you don't have in arts faculty. So these were your different coordinators. For each subject, we have a head of the department whom we call as the coordinator with respect to junior college. And so any problems of yours regarding your various subjects, you may contact your coordinators directly. And each one of them will be eager to help you. So uh, although you may not have a class teacher here, you have coordinators here whom you can approach. Thank you for, to all the coordinators for being here with us. Now coming to the library, library building, you have seen it. And as I told you, we have on the ground floor, the entire library and our library has got more than 55,000 books. A treat to anyone who wants to read and learn and study. So we have right from the ancient books, to the most modern books. And it's a very, very well-maintained library. 
under the leadership of Mr. Ramesh Paloti. When you come to college, you know, you'll have to fill up a membership form and a library card will be issued to you. Library card, of course, will be issued only after your I cards are issued. There is a separate reading room and a digital library, as I told you, on the first floor of the library building. And every year, the library arranges for book exhibition. So you can benefit from this book exhibition. For circulation, that is, if you want to take a book home, yes, you may do so after giving your library card. And that will be from Monday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. One book for seven days against a library card. One book for seven days against a library card. And the one book will be given for reference against your i-card. But that, for reference, you cannot take that book home. You have to refer to it in the library itself, and you have to return that book. That book is issued against your i-card. But the other books, you can take it and keep it for a period of seven days. But after a period of seven days, it's a humble request to all my dear students to return the book. Because remember, there is someone else waiting for that book. So you will not just keep it at home, but you will bring it and return it back to the library. Hmm? So that will be good on your part to do so. Now, one of the most important committee that we have over here, the exam committee, I mean, every committee is important, but the students are a little scared of the exam committee. But my dear students, you should know that exams are an integral part of our education system. If you know, even Arjuna, who was such a competent archer, even he had to give an exam. He had you know, to prove his ability. So even in the Gurukul days, there were exams. Even today, we have these exams. The exams are just meant to assess or to evaluate how much you have understood, how much skill you have acquired, and how much knowledge you have assimilated. For that, we have a schedule of exams, and that will be informed to you in due course of time. And the in charge for this is Mr. Jagdish Prajapati. So your Prajapati sir will tell you about your exams as and when the exams will be held. Normally we have a definite schedule, but being the time of pandemic, we cannot commit to you anything right now. And therefore all exams, schedule of exams will be told to you in due course of time. But remember, we are going to put up the schedules on the website. We will not be sending personal messages to anyone. So if you think that you will send a personal message, then this is a wrong thing. We will only put all this information on the website. So what is your work? You need to look at the website daily. And that you will make it a habit from today itself. You have your sir over here. He's, he's also the admin, uh, admin in charge. So he's come, he has met you here. We have the next, another important committee, who has attendance committee. And the in charge for this is Mrs. Gracie Cherian. She keeps the attendance meticulously. Right? So if you are going to miss the attendance, it will be immediately recorded. So be careful because 75% attendance is compulsory for all of you. Attendance will be taken separately for each lecture, tutorial, and practical. If you have one lecture attend this means that the whole day will attendance mark. It does not happen. Every lecture, her tutorial, or her practical may Alexa attendance liya jayega. And attendance will be marked for each subject. All students are hereby informed that as per the government notification, attendance of students is to be sent online every day. And you are warned that if they fail to maintain 75% attendance in theory and practicals separately, strict disciplinary action will be taken against them as per rules. I hope this is very, very clear to all students as well as parents who are attending this program. See that your students attend regularly and do not come into any sort of trouble. 
Yeah, this is Mrs. Gracie Cherian or Gracie Ma'am, whom you will be referring to as. For environmental education, for environmental education, you have your in charge, Mrs. Anjali Mulgaonkar. Of course, you are the future generation. Environment has to be taken care by you. And that is the reason why the government has introduced environment at this environmental education at the school and college level so that you are more aware of the pollution of the problems that are there and take care of it accordingly now based on the year's assessment you will be graded this is a graded subject you you will be told regarding the projects the assignments everything you'll be told in due course of time so please be alert and attend this uh, get your assignments and projects regularly when we ask you to come and a very important note is passing in eve is mandatory means yani passing in eve compulsory hai agar koi bacche ne projects nahi submit kiya assignments time pe nahi diye and agar ye sochta hai bachcha ya student sochta hai ki mujhe environmental education hai hi nahi maine tick nahi kiya hai paper pe to mujhe environmental education nahi hai to ye galat hai क्योंकि एजुकेशन एनवायरमेंटल एजुकेशन एक कंपलसरी सब्जेक्ट है एंड अगर ये सब्जेक्ट आप प्रोजेक्ट्स और असाइनमेंट्स नहीं देते हो तो आप फेल हो जाओगे एंड यू विल हैव टू रिपीट इलेवेंथ वंस अगेन सो बी केयरफुल ऑफ दिस सो ग्रेड्स विल बी अलॉटेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ मार्क्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रांच ऑफ आर कॉलेज इज द नेशनल कैडेट कॉप्स द एनसीसी सेक्शन which is headed by very two very very able captains malini sharma for girls and captain v s kota for the boys for enquiries they have given you their uh, address email address you may contact them on this now see when we see a uniformed person i'm sure all our hearts swell with pride and it is here in bavans in the ncc cadet corps section that we give our students an opportunity to don the uniform and be a part of the services it's not just donning the uniform but there are different aims it helps to develop character and discipline leadership and comradeship secular outlook spirit of adventure and finally you end up being a trained and motivated youth and the motto of ncc being unity and discipline you must see our ncc cadets i must tell you they are so very disciplined you feel proud to see them and the credit of this goes to both these captains that is captain sharma and captain kota who have trained them so beautifully yeah we'll see it over here you have scholarships from 1000 to 6000 and reservations of seats for joining the armed forces of course there are certain criteria to be fulfilled and that will be uh, known to you when you become a cadet every institution creates a certain influence in the minds of the students the years that you spend in college with us are not just meant or merely meant in learning and filling your heads with knowledge it's not just for that we want our students to be more humane we want our students to mold the character and the attitudes of our students we want our students to be more sensitive to society and for this we have the national service scheme and this is headed by two very very efficient teachers that is mr suresh gavit and ms dipti lakhu sorry mr suresh gavit and ms dipti lakhu you see them over here they do a lot of work the aims of nss is to inculcate the importance of social value to develop quality of leadership among students you have a number of activities like during ganpati they have the beach cleaning the mop controlling during ganpati visarjan making rakhi and cloth bags organizing rural camps debates elocution essay competitions and they give also give you a number of topics for sometimes you have an essay competition sometimes you have painting competitions you know so there are a lot of things the nss does save the planet communal harmony drug abuse and 
you also have hygiene and cleanliness. Now, these are some of the work that has been done by the NCC NSS unit, where they go to rural areas, they distribute things to the needy, they visit the old age homes, you know, so a lot of things are done by NSS unit. So the motto is not me, but you, where me is not of importance, it is you who is of first you know, or prior importance. Yeah. Now, I must say, the only type of activity that our students usually indulge in is to lift the index finger as well as the thumb and they lift his fingers just to for the keys of the mobile to press the keys of the mobile that is the only type of exercise i find students usually doing but i must tell you that apart from this exercise it is good for the students to flex their muscles a little and to indulge in sports activities for their overall development and to help them achieve this we have in charge a very highly spirited person who is very much into sports activities and she is dr mrs vidya kulkarni we have a well equipped gymkhana and we provide facilities for coaching in indoor and outdoor games we organize annual sports in events in the month of December, but I don't know if, if it will be held in December this year because of the pandemic. Otherwise, normally it is held in December. Health and physical education exam. Yes, that's an important part of it. And that will be based on your year's assessment work. In your during your lectures, your sports teachers will let you know. And HPE, again, is a compulsory subject. It's a mandatory subject. Jaise humne bataya ki EVE ya environmental education compulsory subject hai, usi tarah HPE bhi compulsory subject hai. Ye mat sochna ki agar humne tick nahi kiya hai form mein to humne ye subject nahi hai, aisa nahi hai. Compulsory hai. Tick kiya ho ya nahi kiya ho. Aap science student ho, commerce student ho ya art student ho. Sabhi ke liye Sports, HPE, as well as environmental education, ye dono compulsory subject hai. Or agar iske assignments, iske projects, agar ye lectures attend nahi karte ho, to you will be declared as fail. So please see to it that you attend all these lectures and you submit your assignments on time. It's both like EVE, this too is a graded subject. So as I told you, passing is mandatory, otherwise the student will be declared fail. Yeah, for cultural activities, we have a very dynamic person over here. She is Mrs. Jyoti Shirodkar, who is from the chemistry department, but she will be involved with all your cultural activities. We conduct talent search for you know, selection in music, dance, and theater, as well as the Kala Mahotsav function. That's an intercollege or intracollegiate function, and for fine arts and literary events. We conduct all this because we want to enhance or we want our talents which are there in our students. We want it to they, them to show course these talents. And that's the reason why we have all these programs. But as again, I repeat, being the pandemic year, I don't know how much of these activities we can really conduct. But let us see how much we can do when you come on to this campus. Yeah, your the teacher of Marathi, the head of Marathi department, She's also the in charge of literary associations. This is basically to you know, improve your literary skills. And Mrs. Jyoti Malankar is a wonderful, she is too good in Marathi. And it will be a pleasure to hear her speak and the way she organizes essays and elocution competitions. These all your Hindi teachers, your English teachers, as well as your Mara, Marathi teachers will you know, uh, organize these essays and education competition, each so very good in their own field. Mrs. Uh, you also have the Marathi Sanskritic Mandal and the Marathi Natya Mandal in which you can participate. Jyoti ma'am, during her lectures, will definitely enlighten you on all this. We have the Kulupati Awards, one of the most prestigious awards of our institution. And the in charge for this is the head of Hindi department, and she is Mrs. Dipti Savant. 
the kulapati award is an award where we you know recognize appreciate and acknowledge the array of talents and capabilities that our students possess to be a winner of this award you have to have an all round development an all round growth just like we see in munshi ji we see a number of hues munshi ji was like a diamond with many hues we like to see the same versatility in our students the same hues in our student and therefore we confer this kulapati award on because of technical problems sujatha ma'am has been out she will come back to the meeting Give us few minutes, students. Ma'am will be back with us.
Jyoti ma'am, do we have to wait for Sujata ma'am to come back? Any idea?